Good day, and thank you for taking your time to learn about this State Road 527, also known as Orange Avenue Project. A transcript is being made of all oral proceedings and will be part of the public record for this project. This public hearing is being held in accordance with Section 339.155 Florida Statutes, Section 339.199 Florida Statutes, and Section 120.525 Florida Statutes. This public hearing was advertised consistent with federal and state requirements and is being conducted consistent with the Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990. This hearing is being held to give all interested persons the right to understand the project and comment on their concerns to the department. Public participation at this hearing is encouraged and solicited without regard to race, color, religion, sex, age, national origin, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns relative to FDOT compliance with Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, FDOT District 5, Title VI Coordinator, at jennifer.smith2 at dot.state.fl.us. The purpose of this public hearing is to share information about the State Road 527 project improvement. This public hearing also serves as an official forum to give you the opportunity to express your opinions and concerns about this project. The improvements involve State Road 527 Orange Avenue from the southbound bifurcation which is located where State Road 527 splits into one-way pairs just south of Lake Conway Drive to north of Grant Street in Orange County, Florida. The financial project number 437330-1-52-16. At the conclusion of the presentation, attendees who completed a speaker's card upon registering at the door will be given an opportunity to speak into a microphone. Project staff will also distribute speaker's cards to additional attendees who wish to make a verbal statement. The State Road 527 Improvement Project begins at the southbound bifurcation and continues 2.30 miles north. The corridor begins operating at a posted speed of 40 miles per hour with a 45 mile per hour design speed. Within the project limits, there is a project exception currently under construction and excluded from the project. This exception begins 175 feet south of Lake Gatlin Road and continues to 325 feet north of Holden Avenue. As the corridor continues north past Ileana Street, the posted speed limit is maintained at 40 miles per hour. However, the design speed is reduced to 40 miles per hour. The posted speed limit then reduces to 35 miles per hour keeping the 40 mile per hour design speed directly before Grant Street. The project will then terminate at 160 feet north of Grant Street. The net length of the project improvements are 2.07 miles. From the project begin limits at the bifurcation or split of Orange Avenue to Pine Lock Avenue, this mill and resurfacing project will include widening bike lanes from 4.5 feet to 5 feet by narrowing the center turn lane from 12 feet to 11 feet. The project will also include upgraded pedestrian lighting at the signalized intersections and reconstruction of curb ramps to meet Americans with Disabilities Act or ADA guidelines. These roadway improvements maintain the existing drainage patterns. From Pine Lock Avenue to the project end limits at Grant Street, this mill and resurfacing project will also include the construction of medians for future landscape opportunities and curb bulb outs for parking and pedestrian enhancements where applicable. The project is currently reviewing the potential for a mid-block crossing 
between Crystal Lake and Page Street. If the mid-block crossing is approved, it will be incorporated in the final design plans for this project. Similar to the improvements between the bifurcation or split and Pine Lock Avenue, improvements in this segment will also include upgraded pedestrian lighting at the signalized intersections, reconstruction of curb ramps to meet ADA guidelines, and will maintain the existing drainage patterns. The graphic shown depicts the previously mentioned 320-foot median proposed north of Pine Lock Avenue along State Road 527. This proposed median will include potential landscaping opportunities and allow for a physical separation for the motoring public. In addition, the pedestrian lighting and curb ramps at all corners of the intersection at Pine Lock Avenue will be upgraded. These improvements can also be seen on the display boards that are shown at the public hearing and made available online. As we continue north, an additional median 200 feet in length is proposed north of Ileana Street. This proposed median will also include potential landscaping opportunities and allow for a physical separation for the motoring public. As shown on this drawing, the curb ramps will be upgraded at Ileana Street and Michigan Street with pedestrian lighting upgrades at the intersection at Michigan Street. These improvements can also be seen on the display boards that are shown at the public hearing and made available online. Continuing north along State Road 527, beginning at 150 feet south of Crystal Lake Street, Curb bulbouts will be constructed to delineate on-street parking and will be utilized to create green space on the corridor with more upgraded curb ramps. Furthermore, a mid-block pedestrian crossing is currently under design review. This review was requested by the City of Orlando and located between Crystal Lake Street and Page Street intersections. The previously mentioned curb bulbouts will continue northward toward the project limits at Grant Street, designating the on-street parking areas. At Grant Street, it is proposed to move the curb line inwards, which will increase the sidewalk width and include a rebuild of the pedestrian curb ramps meeting ADA criteria. Lastly, the pedestrian lighting will be upgraded at the intersection of Grant Street and State Road 527. As identified on the previous slide, intersection improvements are proposed at Grant Street. The existing intersection at Grant Street has several non-compliant curb ramps with pull boxes and utility poles scattered throughout the walkway. The proposed improvements, illustrated on the graphic shown on the right, includes the curb extension with new striping, upgraded curb ramps, and opportunities for additional landscaping. The proposed condition will create additional walkable area, allowing for ADA-compliant curb ramps and increase the walkability of the intersection. Additional decorative asphalt treatment is currently being discussed to increase the visibility of the Soto District. Curb bulbouts have been proposed between Pine Lock Avenue and Grant Street to serve as a traffic calming feature to encourage reduced speeds. The graphic shown provides an example of a curb bulbout treatment that could be constructed along this corridor. A curb bulbout provides curb islands, which allows the design team to maintain existing drainage patterns. By maintaining the existing patterns, the proposed improvements will have minimal impacts to the drainage structures therefore minimizing the improvement costs with modifying drainage. In addition, the curb bulbouts will provide the potential for future landscaping planting areas, enhancing the aesthetics of the corridor. The current schedule of this project identifies that the plans will be completed in June of 2018, which will result in the project being let for construction in October of this year. Currently, the date to start construction has yet to be determined. The project cost for construction is currently estimated at $4.48 million. 
This presentation and all of the materials on display here tonight will be available in electronic form on the project website at cflroads.com. This website is maintained by FDOT to keep the public informed of ongoing and future projects. You are encouraged to visit this webpage for updates regarding the status of this project. There are several ways that you can get involved and provide feedback on this project. We encourage you to engage in conversation with the design team staff here tonight to discuss and record your input using the online survey tool via tablet. This online survey will be available at www.cflroads.com slash project slash 437-330-1 until March 6, 2018. You can also submit written comments using the forms available at the welcome table and online. You can submit those comment forms in the Dropbox here tonight by mail to FDOT Project Manager Talib Shams at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 2-542, Deland, Florida 32720, or by email to talib.shams at dot.state.fl.us. Written comments received or postmarked no later than March 6, 2018 will become part of the public record for this public hearing. You can also provide an oral comment at the conclusion of this presentation. Our personnel will be distributing speakers cards to those in the audience who have not received one and would like to make a statement. A court reporter will record your statement and a verbatim transcript will be made of all oral proceedings at this hearing. If you do not wish to speak at the microphone, you may present your comments in writing or directly to the court reporter at the comment table. Each method of submitting a comment carries equal weight. For additional information, please contact Talib Shams or Mark Bertoncini at the information provided below. Thank you for watching this video regarding the State Road 527-Orange Avenue project.